Hello, welcome back to whatever this is, uh, and Happy New Year. Um, so not long ago, someone posted in my Facebook group, Don't Rent Me, uh, about a pretty messed up house which was offered uh, to them for rent for 2,500 bucks a month. Uh, and I'll show you some gorgeous pictures. But uh, yeah, let's get into the story. So the person who sent this in uh, lives in regional Victoria uh, and has an autistic son um, who has a horse, which really helps with his um, autism and when he's stressed. So um, she needs to live on a place with a fair bit of land, um, obviously because a horse takes up a bit of space, as you can imagine. Um, and she currently rents in regional Victoria, and she rents a property that doesn't meet quite a few of the minimum rental standards in Victoria, but that's another story and we'll get to that. Her current landlord increased the rent an absolutely absurd amount, which is, you know, ridiculous for a house that is not legally able to be rented out. So as a result, she was searching for a new place to live, um, whether that was to buy or uh, to rent. Um, in Mangalore, Victoria, uh, land is pretty cheap and there's quite a bit of it for sale. She happened upon a house uh, which was, you know, fairly reasonably priced, um, a little bit out of her price range, um, and quite frankly, way above the land value of, uh, you know, properties in Mangalore or land in Mangalore. Um, but it had a house on it. So she started negotiating with the real estate agent um, and in doing so, the real estate agent was like, mm, fair warning, uh, this house is quite terrible. So um, you're welcome to go look at it if you want. The door's unlocked, so go for your life. The person went to check it out uh, and the real estate agent was right. It was, you know, absolutely horrible. Um, here's a video. Yeah, I have issues. I don't know who Ben is, but he used to live here. Shining through. The house ended here and they've built this onto it.
the cleanest room in the whole house. Nothing's outside. But it is. Laundry. Get another bathroom. As you can see, the property itself raises a few questions. Um, you know, there's no ceiling in a bunch of the house and um, there's some suspicious stuff in there. Nevertheless, the property was, you know, had a fair bit of land, which would be fine for a horse. So um, the renter started negotiating with the real estate agent. Um, the real estate agent was acting on behalf of the vendor. Um, and yeah, you know, did his best to get, try to get the price down and whatever. Then eventually the tenant started negotiating directly with the vendor himself. In these negotiations, she kind of detailed her situation. Um, it's not a great situation, but I won't go into that, into that too much. And during these negotiations, the vendor offered her, you know, the place to rent for 2,500 bucks a month, which is, uh, you know, quite expensive, especially for a place that is not able to be rented out. It is, you can't live there, um, you may die. In the section 32 kind of statement of the property, it quite clearly says that the property is not connected to an electricity supply, a gas supply, a water supply, sewerage, or telephone services. So that's great. Also, it's in a bushfire prone area. So it really is a win no matter how you look at it. The title search also says that it's owned by Australian Regional Properties Proprietary Limited. The person that this tenant was speaking to after the initial real estate agent was a man named Massimo. He's the director of a real estate agency called Big Properties and also happens to be one of the two directors of that company I mentioned earlier that owns this place. So um, him and I believe his father uh, are the two directors of the company that owns the house. I reached out to Massimo today to ask him uh, a number of things. Um, the first thing was uh, real estate agents in Victoria have to disclose to you whether they're aware of uh, certain things. Um, particularly if you if you ask them kind of point blank to their face so if you ask them about whether they have a knowledge of uh, there being asbestos in the property um, they have to answer you frankly uh, and also whether there you know was a serious crime committed on the property or in relation to the property or whether it is involved in the manufacturing of illicit substances um, I asked him these things and uh, he it was like, you know, not to my knowledge. Anyways, after this, um, I asked him whether or not it was true that the property was offered for rent at $2,500 a month. Um, and he confirmed this and said that this offer is no longer on the table. Uh, anyways, this is a real estate agent who owns this property. Um, he probably knows what the minimum rental standards are in Victoria. And yeah, just in case you're wondering, this is what it looks like. Anyways, Happy New Year. Uh, it's a new year and a new year of shitrentals.org. Um, so uh, I'm currently brainstorming how to spread the word a bit more about shitrentals.org. So if you've got any ideas, please let me know. Um, but in the meantime, uh, all this stuff kind of takes 
cost a bit of money um, to do. So if you have any spare cash and can afford to, please consider uh, joining the Patreon um, or buying some gorgeous merch uh, in the link tree. Also tell your friends to submit a review of their shit rental on shitrentals.org. Happy New Year. Please give your kitties a kiss from me. Mm. <laughs>